Portals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. This is Portal. Look at it. It's a fun game. So, ah, two things to recover firstly, just to get this uh, out of the way. I have played this game before. It's a good game, it's a fun game, it's not a long game, but it's a fun game. I have played this game before. More specifically, I have tried recording this game before. Bandicam doesn't like it. It really doesn't. If I record the screen directly, Every time I get a loading screen, Bandicam just pauses record. It doesn't stop recording. It just doesn't actually record anything, despite time passing in reality. Now, I record my audio separately to my video, so I only discovered that I was getting massive periods of commentary, talking to video that didn't exist, a little while into the recording. Uh, that was several days ago. So I thought, I know what I'll do, I won't record the game directly, I'll record the screen, and just, that'll just record everything that's happened. No, no, Bandicam decided it would record five seconds, and then it stopped. Nothing was happening in those five seconds, and it was perfectly happy to record, provided Portal wasn't on screen at the time, but something about Portal being on the screen just makes Bandicam just go, no, don't want to, no, no, not touching it, don't want to do that. So, I'm trying again recording by having it look at the screen directly. Because, not the screen, sorry, looking at the game. The game is the input. But if you're unfamiliar with Bandicam, it works in a variety of ways. You can either just record the screen or you can record a specific window. Uh, which is what it calls game mode, because that's typically what people are recording. Them with. So, I'm recording the game window because at least that way the counter ticks. I'm going to have some fun editing this. It's going to be a right pain in the never mind. Anyway, so, yes. Game, portal, good game. Playing game now, start game. Um, so, yeah, as in my previous test, I got. Uh, previous test, previous record, I got. Not about for chest cha chest tamer 14. Yes, those are words. Um, but I had to re record anyway, even. I probably could have salvaged the. Uh, the previous recording. However, I was also getting some massive screen tearing. I would just get an entire section of the screen, which was whenever times I turned left or right would just be, you know, half a second behind the rest of the screen. So I fiddled with some options and I think I've got rid of that issue. So, hopefully, this will be a fun little game now. Oh, interesting. I think Bandicam kept, kept recording that time. Nice. I don't. I don't expect that to happen often. I'm going to get myself cut off mid-sentence several times during this. Radio. 85.2 FM. It must be a curtain. No, it's not a code. Mug. I like how I can just use telepathy to carry Telepathy? Telekinesis. Again. Welcome to the Aperture Science It's Hello him. He's back. And he's a she. A and she technically predated the telepathy which was Hello him. And we are now ready to begin the test proper. You can zoom in. Before we start, however, keep in mind that on that Oh, will Jesus. Come. That was weird. And the primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Serious injuries may occur. Like getting for shot. For safety and the safety of others. Please refrain just... from... Can I get more? There we go, now we can get closer. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two... I'm hiding where the portal's one. going to appear with this. There it is. There's me. There's my clipboard. So yes, primary um, gameplay mechanic of this game. Here is portals, things that go in one, come out the other. It's space magic. Shut up and don't ask questions. It's also A, hilarious, and B, a fantastic game. It's a lot of fun. So, these are all the things that could kill me. Let's go find them. That was weird. Through the portal. Hey, a camera. I'm going to have fun destroying those later. Okay, Q please. Q. Button. Nice. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. That's a chamber lock. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This, thing. this aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. 
For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. This thing. So, if I had any means of taking that cube over to that side of the door, which, as far as I'm aware at this point, I don't. If I try to take it through this, it'll just go, no, denied. Oh, well, let me go to the next bit. Do, 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 do. Boing. Please place the weighted storage cube on the fifteen hundred megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super. Not cube. Not cube. You ready? I'm not ready. I wish I had a sprint function. I do not have a spring function. I may have a spring function actually. I haven't just thought to check. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock. I'm going as quick as I can. You don't give me a sprint. Give me a bounce. I can bunny hop. That's pretty much the closest thing I have to a sprint. Well, let's check the other buttons. Not a sprint. Not a sprint. Not a sprint. Is that a sprint? Not a sprint. 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 I've got a crouch. That will be much. That. That will be much useful, I'm turning into that flipping dog meme. In fact, yeah, the, fa the fastest I can actually move, my sort of <laughs> land speed is bouncing. I'll bunny hop on my way to victory. Note to self, do not name this episode bunny hopping my way to victory. Hey, a portal! Very well. That's very kind of you to say, that Glados. A noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate semi -rare. dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Well, it's a good job I'm not going to be promised any food on this trip, am I? Jesus, what the hell was that? GLaDOS, uh, my portal disappeared. I need that portal. More specifically, I need that portal gun. Gimme. Controlling. What the hell is going on? I'm getting some very strange effects on this game. This game should not be causing my computer any trouble at all. I'm over here now. Boy, gun. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. E With it, you can create your own portals. These get get interdimensional get get gates have get proven to be get completely get safe. Shell, come here. I want to. I want to give myself a hug. That's a lie. I don't want to give anything a hug. I'm not a great hug fan. Do not look at the end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. I'll jump on myself. Catch myself by surprise. Aha! Curses foiled again. Yeah, I'm probably going to speak over Glados a lot. Certainly for these opening uh, few. Uh, test chambers because I've heard it like five times trying to get this thing to work luckily there are subtitles so you can just read it moving on it is going to be a long time before I get the other one then. oh hey, the down mind the gap you mind the gap to ensure the safe performance of all authorised activities do not destroy vital testing apparatus I refuse, I do what I want I'm going to go there. Why would I go to the floor when I can come and through the then, ceiling? Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Uh, it's funny. And fire! That's what the Emancipation Grill does. It's awesome. Uh, you. Oh, yeah. That's how that works. I keep forgetting I don't have both <laughs> portals yet. In the incinerator. Okie dokie. Moving on. Screen is gonna crash. Not Q, obviously. I really wish this camera was heavy enough to sort this button out. But, uh. No, these, these, these buttons require the weight of. A person. And rather conveniently, these buttons also have the same sort of weight as a person. I hope there aren't any people inside them. A little game For theory episode about that. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Don't tell me what to do, you're not my mum. Not in this game. 
I mean, it's heavily implied that you might be in the, the next game, but... We'll deal with that if and when I play that Once game. Again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. I won't be monitored in the next one. Oh, how good news. Joyous day. I will believe everything the computer voice in the sky tells me at face value. I do hope there will be cake at the end of this, as I was promised. Running, well, bounce. Hey, if I'm not being monitored, why are there cameras? Oh well, I won't question it. Certain Ow. objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. I was wondering why it hadn't thrown it off the wall. It's because the other portal hadn't been connected. Only when I stopped to look up to see why it hadn't been thrown off the wall, it was thrown off the wall. Right on me bolts. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Hey, also, if you aren't monitoring me, how do you know the testing apparatus has been destroyed? I see through your lies, GLaDOS. Some of them at least. Some, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm down here now. Button. And... Button. Now, I'm just before I go into there and make GLaDOS start talking again, because I suspect there are going to be some people watching this who will be quite sad to not hear every single one of GLaDOS's lines, because they are comedy gold. Um, not in comedy gold, they're just generally well done. Anywho, as I said before, I've played this game before. Um, I've played these levels in the past week. Uh, but even when we get to the levels I haven't replayed, there's a good chance you won't take me long in terms of the puzzle solving aspect. So if you're hoping to see me struggle with complex puzzles for a while, I've played this game several times. I may have momentary blips when I get to places, but it's not going to be... There's a good chance I won't be stuck in a puzzle for 10 minutes trying to find the solution. It'll be a case of remembering rather than problem solving for the most part. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. How can I Good ever job. trust again? As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. More caffeine, body. Could I have edited that drink out? I could have done. I'm not going to, though, because screw yous. I get a very condescending attitude to my viewers sometimes, can't I? Maybe that's why I've only got, like, three. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. <laughs> Please don't get vaporized. More businesses need to have that as the warning slogan. On entering this facility, please take care not to vaporize yourself. You. Subject name here. Must My name be is Chell. Subject hometown here. I don't know what Chell's hometown is. Um, I have absolutely no idea. I imagine that they probably haven't got one. Not canonically. I mean, presumably they were born somewhere in this universe, but I don't think they're ever given it like a name, like City 17 or whatever. Onward and upward, downward, which way do these lifts go anyway? I'm going to say that they're like the Great Glass Elevator and go left. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to Mist. agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. <laughs> oh. Oh god, everything's made of sadness. Good. Now use the Aperture Science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Yeah, in a minute, Galos. Left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down. If ever I have to do that in the middle of a session, that means Bandicam done froze again, and I'm having to uh, do weird things to resynchronize my uh, audio. Down we go. I'm over here now. Are you ready? Steady. Bounce. Okay, 
I don't know why it crashed there, it doesn't usually do that. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. It's like being back at school. Uh, let's not stand here. Let's not stand here either. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory Let's try mark that on your again. official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Yeah, considering I've done these, I said, within a week, that was a dumb thing to do. Why did I think I needed to go and stand on the platform? <laughs> That's what I get for not looking at a puzzle before attempting to solve it. That's over. Now we wait. Well, actually, I'm going to need to go over here anyway. Ready? Ready, Chell? Ready? Boy. Note to self, don't jump when going through portals. That was stupid. I could have really messed everything up there. Oh, the, the uh, sound, please. Moving. Very impressive. Please Slot. note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Appearance of danger? It's pretty solid dangerous, love. It melted my face. And everything else I'm attached to. I think the gun survived, though. No, it doesn't. Don't submerge it in any kind of liquid. It's fire it can survive. I'm sure that won't be relevant later. The engagement Coop. center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. It's an impossible test. Whatever will I do? She specifically said that the uh, she wasn't going to lie to me anymore. There's absolutely no way this could ever be solved by human hands. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. There are no cameras around here. I was going to destroy a camera and make a witty one-liner, but A, there aren't any cameras, and B, wit. Have you seen this channel? That's not my forte. What is my forte? Oh god, I'm experiencing existential dread. Which would be more impressive if I could say the word existential without slowing it up. I've been making a lot of weird pauses Hello in my sense in the middle of these. Reiterate. A momentum test? What could you possibly be referring to there? Yes, as I was saying, I, uh, I seem to have a habit of getting halfway through sentences and then just sort of awkwardly pausing. I wonder if I could edit those uh, pauses out to make this kind of funny. Apparently not, who knew? I'm up here now. Oh, oh, oh. Camera in the hole. Camera in the hole. Camera in the hole. Camera in the hole. I want to see it come through the hole. Hang on. Camera in the hole. Ow! Didn't actually hurt me, but yeah, there we go. Oh, now it's over here again. So, momentum puzzles. Puzzle yeah, solved. Hello. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. So, there is actually a slight subject of debate as to whether these portals affect momentum or they do not. For example, uh, the idea, what, well, what GLaDOS is saying is that, or what you will say in a minute, is speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. And that is certainly true. It does not affect velocity. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. I just realised I've made the very mistake that uh, people will be accusing me of, so that's going to possibly appear in the comments already, but no. Uh, the portals do not affect speed, they do potentially affect velocity, 
depending on your frame of reference. As far as the rest of the universe is concerned, when I go in this portal down here, my velocity changes as I come out of this one over here, because velocity is a function of speed and direction. Uh, so when I go through that uh, portal down there, my direction is straight down. That direction then changes instantaneously, almost, as I go through this portal over here to go, um, well, forward. I don't know if it's rest, left, right, or east, or whatever. Um, so the argument goes that momentum is not conserved because the velocity changes. I'm very close to going straight through that grill, then, and presumably triggering <laughs> GLaDOS's next line of dialogue. However, as I said, it is a uh, subject of some debate because it is all about perspective. Um, so when you're dealing with things like special relativity, the uh, perspective of who's where as the speed of light is going on. Also, special relativity is its own subject, let's not really get into that, but the point is that uh, depending on where you are and where you're looking at things from, um, situations can change. So. In special relativity, as an example, uh, in one frame of reference something may appear simultaneous and in another one they will not. That's overly simplified, I'm not going to get too much into the details. So the frame of reference here is where the momentum doesn't change. From the perspective of Chell over here, momentum is conserved. From our moving first person frame of reference, our direction is always going to be forward, basically. Uh, so, one could argue momentum is conserved in Chell's frame of reference. But as far as the rest of the universe is concerned, shit be weird, yo. That's my physics lecture. I hope you've enjoyed today's TED Talk on Decade Old Games. Like and subscribe, damn it. Where are we now? Can I have a second gun yet? The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. Nice. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For oh, instance, nice. the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. You can't tell me what to do. But yeah, I, I probably will try and avoid it, thanks. Over here now. Button. I didn't time that very well. What I need to do is press that. Oh yeah, I've got that up there. What am I doing? Okay. Bam. Yeah. And now we have to wait for this guy here. I want the other portal gun. It'll be fun. That's where this game really gets interesting, being able to create both ends of the portal rather than having GLaDOS decide where the, f the other one is. How does GLaDOS decide where these other portals are? I mean, obviously, it's easy enough to say here, because, you know, there's a gun shooting it somewhere. But how did you get the other ones to open? Because you can just create portals wherever she wants, whenever she wants. Then. These guns are pointless. Has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. Hooray! In spite of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject hometown here. That is an interesting fact. However, you don't take into account that Dark Lord Kaiser is in his hometown. And as such, you are 100% accurate in your assessment of the value of this device. Come on, get over there, go through the, come on, through the portal, yeah. You know what the most fun thing to do with these portals is, you put one on the ceiling, you put one on the floor, Whee! I'm now at terminal velocity, nothing could, what the hell, I missed, how did I miss, it's directly behind below me. Now let's shoot at the wall. I'm over here now. What the hell? <laughs> I 
I aimed at the wall. I don't know how this happened. Whatever. Moving on. We're gonna have some fun with portals. We're gonna have some fun with portals. We're gonna have some fun with portals. I thought there was going to be a loading screen there, so I stopped talking for the sake of the record. Oops! Boy, 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 hell. Right. Get yourself. Fling into you go fling yourself. Oh, I see what you mean. Boy. Over here. Boy. Wow, it was not happy about me doing that. Now I got it. Oh, it has moved the thing. <laughs> I was like, why hasn't it moved the paddle I needed? It had moved the paddle I needed to move. It just was behind me. Ow. So, Chell wears magic shoes. Uh, I, actually, I don't think they're shoes. I think they are literally connected to her legs. Uh, surgically grafted on so that she can survive falls at terminal velocity. Doesn't really explain how she can survive terminal velocity speed going straight into a wall face first. Oh yeah, I don't want to... Uh... Actually, I could probably just jump this. Banzai! I could jump this. Neat. Okay, I have both portals up there. I need to shoot the orange portal. 50-50 odds that I'm going to press the wrong button on the way down. Bonsai! Ow. My thoughts exactly, GLaDOS. I'm very glad I pressed the right button there. It would have been very disappointing to have got to have just sort of flopped out at the other end. <laughs> okay. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. That's very kind of them. I do like it when you walk into this, uh, to a test chamber and it's like, Oh look, there are 12 things here to do. I want to do all of them. That's the fun of this game. Making stuff happen. Go away. Testing apparatus destroyed. I'm the only vital testing apparatus you need to worry about, GLaDOS. Where did that ball end up? Oh, it was in there. <laughs> Oops. Ball. Hole. Hole. Thing. And now we have to do a bit of timing. Come back, cube. I require thee for puzzles, testing, and fun. Wee, my cube. I'm stood on the cube. My cube. Eh. Let's go get that other cube. Uh, actually, let's. let's... Get your centre of here. There we go. Right. One. One. Two. Two. That's an excellent bit of uh, level design, where the actual places you need to put the portals are literally labelled on the ceiling. So you have to sort of trial and error and go, oh, I think it's about there. Oh, I missed. Oh, I think it's about there. Oh, I missed the other side. Portal is a good game. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the nice. testing is over, you will be missed. I believe there's an entire song to that regard. Not in this game. Okay, so. Uh, in the previous recording, the one that I'm not using because it wasn't very good. Even without the audio and visual problems. It wasn't very good. Uh, this is the last level that I got to. 
Oh, Lado's going to say something at me? No. Uh, so the reason, one of the reasons I stopped at this level is because there is actually a way to cheese this level and do it in about ten seconds. Um, and in fact, I think oh, now you start talking. Demo leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. God damn right, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. I am the best test subject aside from all the others. Uh, yes, yeah, so as I was saying. If you know what you're doing, you can complete this level in a handful of seconds. And in fact, in one of the challenge modes, it is impossible to do this level in the time uh, slot given without using the cheese it method. I am not going to use the cheese it method right here. I'm going to do this particular test chamber properly, and I will then open the next episode by doing the cheese it method. So if you're unaware of the cheese it method and you want to know what it is, come back when I record the next episode. How would you know when to come back? Well, that's what the subscribe button's for, isn't it? There's also a little bell icon that everyone's telling people to click on because it's supposed to notify you. If you want to do that, it's entirely up to you. I'm not going to tell you to. I'm just going to put the idea in your head that it exists. Because subtlety is my middle bloody name, apparently. I'm going over here. Oh, look, there are stairs now. And they're gone. <laughs> yeah, so, um, sorry, what's supposed to happen is as I walk over towards these stairs, they're supposed to come up and then they disappear when I get back up here. Um, but I just decided to take the portal route, because if you give me a gun that makes portals, and portals are fun ways of traversing the environment, I'm going to use the portal gun. I'm up here now. I'm down here now. I'm up here now. I'm down here now. I'm doing this with purpose. I'm trying to there, orientate myself to find this cube. It's one of the hardest parts about this game. Orientation. Now. My cube. Okie dokie. Oh, there isn't a fast way of getting over there with the portal guns. Because they put all these unportalable surfaces everywhere. It's almost like they don't want me to travel using the portal gun. Now, stay. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Oh no, however will I get to the other side of this room? I'll just use them. Now I need to be very careful not to put the uh, portal that is directly behind me in the way. Oh, there it is, it's coming. Cool. I'll just get here now. See, that's the thing about this game. You're supposed to sort of jump along these in time. Put your portals and jump along. But why would I? I have portals. I have no requirement to use them in any way other than for getting from A to B. Sod, which portal do I need to put here? <laughs> I'm an idiot. I didn't pay attention to which portal I was using. Oops. Um, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, the orange portal here. This is the orange portal of the one I need to put over there. Which is that button. Yes. One of the things that keeps throwing me about... Very, very good. A complimentary very, very good. victory Yay. has been activated in the main chamber. Yeah, so one of the things that keeps throwing me about this game, and why I might be likely to use the, um, the wrong portal at the wrong time. So you have one button that is always designated the blue portal, and you have one button that is always designated the orange portal. Okay. On the screen in front of you, you will see I've got a little icon showing whether at which portal I've uh, currently got in operation. So if I was to somehow get rid of one of the portals, then uh, the icon on the screen would just be the outline. I'm sure you probably may have been able to notice that at early point. Ah, there's an idea. So if I can't put a portal in that place, the icon goes um, clear, like that. If I can put a portal, it fills in. And if I have one portal already in use, it will then tell me which one it is. The problem is, the blue portal is on the left-hand side of the screen, but requires the right trigger. The orange portal is on the right-hand side of the screen, and requires the left trigger. 
there's a very good chance I'm going to get that mixed up all sorts of times in the wrong places. Particularly when I come back next episode and go, right, I need to put a blue portal down. Oops. Let's go up here. So yes, that was the full method, the way this game was originally designed to be completed. Um, the cheese it method was actually discovered in, I believe, the beta testing of this game, and the developers were so impressed with the ingenuity of the um, testers in finding this cheat method, they intentionally left it in when they could have got rid of it. Hence the reason they also put it as the bonus method of completion on there. So, I will go through there next episode. I'm not going to do it now. I said when I uh, come back next time, we'll do this chamber. I will show you the speedy method and we'll get on with the rest of it. But hopefully, that is enough for now. So, I honestly hope you have enjoyed this video. As I've jokingly said a couple of times, if you did like it, click the like button. If you like to see more of this, I have a full channel. You're perfectly willing. Uh, perfectly willing? You're perfectly welcome. I will learn words. You're perfectly welcome to peruse all of those. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos when they come up, that's what the subscribe button is for. If you want to be notified of them, that's what the bell's for. If you already are subscribed to my channel, why don't you tell somebody else about it? I've got like 13 subscribers at this point. Only about two of them ever seem to watch the videos. I'd quite like to have a few more. Is that too much to ask? I've seen the videos I make. It probably is. Oh, well. Go away and get me subscribers, damn it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just do what you like. I hope you enjoyed it. Bugger off now. Go away. <laughs>